Dear friends of the Tom Photo channel and the new viewers alike, today we are investigating how much your photo quality deteriorates when you resave it multiple times. This is something people worry about when they work with JPEG because JPEG file format is a lossy format. This means that it uses inexact approximations when storing info. When you resave, some of the info gets lost and the image quality should go down. Uh, this is in contrast with lossless file formats such as PNG or TIFF or bitmap. These do not compress data or use lossless compression and thus do not lose data in approximations. Of course, this means larger file size. So it's generally said that if you have to save a file multiple times, it's better to use lossless format and not JPEG. But how lossy is JPEG? How and how many times do you have to save them to make them lose enough quality to start bothering you? Let's investigate. Let me give you a spoiler and say that resaving JPEG is not as big a problem as most people think. When you save with low quality setting, you lose quality accordingly on the first saving event, but not so much with additional saving with the same quality setting. The commonly used JPEG quality option during saving is 95. So let's start with this. So I took a JPEG that was photographed with the standard fine setting straight out of my Fujifilm X-T20. And here it is. I then resaved it 20 times with GIMP. GIMP version 2.10.18 using the JPEG quality setting 95 every time. Here's pictures before and after. No matter how hard I look, I don't see any differences. Let's take a closer look at the pixel level. This is the same region cut out of our photo at the 100% magnification level from four images. The original, the one that was saved once, the one that was saved 10 times, and the one that was saved 20 times. I'm still not seeing any differences between the original and the 20 times resaved image. However, me being a scientist, I always want to measure everything rather than rely on subjective assessment. I'm using BRISC to assign a quality score to photos. Here's the original article where this method was published. Luckily, this has been implemented in Python and I was able to simply use Python for these experiments. Below is a link that teaches how to put together a Python script for this. We, however, don't have to worry about any of this here. We simply look at the results. This graph has image quality on the y-axis so that the higher numbers mean lower quality. The x-axis shows how many times the JPEG was resaved. The colors of the lines show what GIMP quality settings were used to resave the images. Surprisingly, the quality settings above 80 indicate improvement in quality. This is probably because the BRISC method is not fully suitable when the changes are very small. With the very small quality loss, the image gets a little bit more grainy, and this looks to the algorithm like a bit of improvement in sharpness. We see that quality setting 50 should decrease the image quality and the quality setting of 10 should kill the image. This is what you'd expect too. What's very interesting is that nothing much seems to be happening after the first saving event. Looks like you do the damage once and the subsequent quote unquote attacks do not do any additional harm. Let's also look at what happens to the file size when you resave your JPEG. The lower the quality setting, the smaller the file size becomes. Essentially, you lose some significant digits, so to say, when you make the file smaller by truncating the values stored in it. Again, the first saving event reduces the file size and then it remains the same upon the subsequent saving events. When you use a very high quality setting, higher than the original quality was, then the file size increases. This is because significant digits are added to the values that don't encode additional information. You essentially add zeros to the end of your decimal places. 
All right, let's take a look at what happens when you save your image 20 times with quality setting of 50. This should really damage the image. Let's see if we see it. At the compressed level, like shown here, I'm not seeing any differences, which is amazing. So even the quality level of 50 didn't destroy the image for me when looking from far away as we're doing now. But let's take a look at 100% magnification. Again, we have the original image and then images that have gone through the resaving cycle 1, 10 or 20 times. I'm seeing small changes, but they're surprisingly marginal. Look at the branch. It has a bit less stripes around it before all the resaving cycles were done. However, this is not getting any worse when you compare one resaving cycle and 20 such cycles. This is what the graph suggested earlier too. Now I really want to see if there is a way to make the image truly bad. Let's use the GIMP JPEG quality setting of 10 to resave our photo. This low value should surely destroy the image, or else I'm going to be puzzled. Let's take a look. At this level of compression, I'm still not seeing any major problems with the quality setting of 10, even after 20 cycles of resaving. But let's take a look at the 100% magnification. Now we're seeing real changes. The fine detail has been replaced with large square blocks of uniform color. We have pixelated the picture, I guess you could say. You see this most clearly in water or in the dark parts of the tree trunk. Okay, at least it is possible to really harm the image with very low resaving settings. However, what's surprising, but in alignment with what we saw before, is that it doesn't matter if we save once or 20 times, we still get the same result for our intents and purposes. So we are ready to summarize. At least when using GIMP's standard JPEG saving, what matters is the initial quality setting that you choose when you resave the image for the first time. Resaving that you do after that with the same quality setting as before does not significantly affect the image. Obviously increasing the quality setting after it has been once saved with a lower setting cannot increase the image quality, but it will increase the file size. So for practical purposes, choose the quality setting you want and stick to it. Don't worry about resaving it during the photo manipulation too much. I hope you found this exercise useful. I want to thank you so much for checking out the Tom Photo channel. I hope to see you again in my future and past videos where I talk about photography related matters and share my experience. Have a great day.